Our lives should cause people to wonder. Our lives should cause people to ask questions. And ultimately, our lives should draw people to God. So David prayed that prayer. He said, show me, give me a sign of your goodness so that my enemies will see it and fear your name. Now, a lot of people in church today are praying the second prayer of David. We're busy asking God for signs, you know, God to perform his promises in our lives for miracles, for solution. But I'd like you to pay attention that before verse 17, you had verse 11. In verse 17 of Psalms 86, David asked for sign, for the manifestation of God in his life, for the finger of God in his life. But before that, verse 17, in verse 11, he sought to know his ways. And I'd like you to know that you can't create his manifestations if you don't know his ways. We, we like to say that Moses performed the acts of God because he knew the ways of God. The people of Israel saw the acts of God, experienced the acts of God, but it took Moses to perform those acts because Moses knew the ways of God. You're not supposed to be an observer and celebrate other people performing the acts of God. You're not supposed to sit by the side and then clap hands for people as they manifest this year. No. This year, God wants to put you center stage, begins to use you to display His glory, begin to use you to display His signs and His wonders. God is not just going to give you a sign of His goodness. God will make you a sign of His goodness. I say, God will not just give you a sign of His goodness. He will make you a sign of His goodness. And it is important that you know the key to that is that you seek to know His ways. Hallelujah.